Hello everybody, this is Pinstripe Paragon, and welcome to Let's Play Jean d'Arc. Now, the odds are, I'm gonna pronounce half the stuff wrong in this game, most of the time. So, please excuse me for that, um... This game is actually based off the story of Joan of Arc, um, to an extent. There's clearly some bits where you know it's not, but, um... You know, this is just an excellent game, terrific story, and it is by far my favorite PSP game, so let's get the show on the road. Terrific one. And a new one, please. No more of your tales about Father when he was still alive. I want a real adventure this time. Very well, Your Grace. Hmm. I wonder if you have heard this story yet. A long time ago, there was a great clash known as the War of the Reapers. A foul and terrible fiend set his sights on the human realm and sent armies of demons led by grim, gruesome reapers to conquer it. Into the fray! Never before had the world witnessed such horrid bloodshed. To end that long and tragic conflict, Man forged five magical armlets in hopes of somehow containing the fiend's hellish power. It was those armlets wielded by five brave heroes that finally vanquished the fiend and his reaper lieutenants. Much time has passed, yet now England finds herself embroiled with France in a war that has raged for nigh on a century. What irony then, that I must call upon the fiend's immeasurable power to ensure that young Henry has a future beyond these troubled times. Fusus forago itaque capio hoc corpus fidelis cum tui navis dominus archum. Ha! Mighty fiend and sovereign lord, long have you cried for your freedom. At long last, on this very night, you shall have it. <gasps> My, what a surprise this is. Enough, Bedford. I will not let you pursue this madness! Oh, won't you now? Your hero days are long over. Feeble old man! Perhaps you should lay down your sword for good. Because you refuse to accept that, our time's gone. You were one of the five! How can you tolerate selling your soul to a monster like that? Yes, you were a dear friend once. So I will not end your life. <laughs> Tis the fiend itself! Prince Henry! What is all that noise? My friend 
snow. Do not touch the boy. The prince must not be kept from his destiny. Be gone from here. But you must stop at once! I do this all for the good of young Prince Henry. Now he shall finally reign over this world as its true king for all eternity. <laughs> Well, that escalated quickly. Whatever. Oh, so I guess we're introduced to our main character here, Jean. I think that's how it's pronounced. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong for the most part. Because, in case you couldn't tell, most of this game is like half French. <laughs> like, half the stuff in it. They'll speak in French, but then they go back to English, like Monsieur, and then now we're just speaking in English, which makes sense, but, uh, one interesting thing is that this game wasn't available in the PAL region for the PSP, which kind of doesn't surprise me in some aspects, but it also sucks for them, because this game's really good, but we've got some healing herbs. Gee, I wonder what those do! So, oh, you want us to take it to the church, huh? Well, uh, I guess not. I guess I can. Yeah, we're totally having a blast. Shots, 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 shots. Oh, boy. I don't even like that song. Oh. Yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, we've we just been introduced, but I can always tell he's been sneaking out. It's all good. It's all good. Roger will, you know, do his thing, you know? Yes, it's pronounced Roger, not Roger. It's, although, just to make fun of him, I probably will call him that. Who knows? Alright. Yeah, let's do this. Leanne. I'm not sure. I think she had, like, one line in that whole sequence, so... Whatever. Oh, we're already there. In the woods. Yay. Huh? No, not really. It just kind of happened. Yeah, that's out of nowhere. Hmm. Probably because his name is Roger. No, no, no offense to anybody with that name. I'm just... Ah. Yeah, that's probably what happens after you go to a town and live there for a while. You'll probably get along with most people. At least I would hope so. Oh, is he alright? Uh, I take that as a no. It's hard to say. Hope it's not Roger. 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 What's 
in that bag? No, Jeanne, leave it be. But that is no animal. Looks like Ganon. Oh god. Where do we run to? What the? These voices in my head. Ah! Oh, don't you dare, Ganon. I will kill you. But... Oh, that sword. Okay. Yeah, who, whose voice is that? Like, is Leanne just speaking? In... No, it can't be. Alright! So we are in our first battle of the game. We have to kill all three enemies, all. And we lose... And we lose if Jean dies, which won't really be that big of a deal. So, you know, we have a lot to go over in the commands, but like you can just take a look here, I suppose. Um, it's not that difficult to understand, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's basically your standard tactical strategy RPG, you know what I'm saying? Like Final Fantasy Tactics or this guy in a way. But, I love this one so much, so it's just, it's really good. Now, there's one <laughs> complaint I have. Okay, I just need to move the camera a little bit. Um, so, um, let me think how I want to start this. I kind of want to have Jean start over here, attack the Ark. Now, I'm going to hit this guy no matter what. So, you know, I have 100% accuracy. He does have an opportunity to guard, but I don't think that's in the equation. And see, 45%, he still gets a hit, but it's not much. Um, I want Jean to start the attacking, just so I can get some Lee some early experience for Leanne. Because, um... I'm gonna try and use most of the characters in this game pretty consistently. Um, you know, like, switching them out every now and again. Um, we'll get plenty more characters, don't, wor don't you worry. But now we basically have the enemy phase, and I mean, it's what the enemies can do. So, uh, so he's going to attack 55%, and okay, so I had a 92% accuracy, which isn't, which isn't bad. But in this game, I don't know if it's just me, but. Uh, yeah, this also explains how if you attack from the side or from behind, you do more damage and you're less likely to miss. So, uh, that's certainly something to keep in mind. But I think it's like that for most, um, tactical games. Um, but for whatever reason, from what I've seen, you can have, like, the opposite. Like, I would have a 40, or no, I could have, like, a 90, right? And they'll have a 40 counter, 40%. 40 
and they'll hit and I'll miss. I've had that happen before. Yeah, I'm not kidding. It's terrible. Um, before I actually just attack, I want to see this guy's strength. Alright, 32. I'm not sure how strong the other guys were. Um, okay, so he's going to attack us either way. Um, what is John's defense? 20? That's okay. Um, I want Jan. See, I pronounce it like 20 different ways, so... Okay, this is what I mean. Um, you know what? Because he's out in front like that, I'm going to wait. I'm just going to wait here, see what he does. Because there's something I haven't explained yet. Um, and again, it's broken. So... Alright, so I'm going to want to attack from behind with Leanne, because I want Jan to get some experience. Um, he, it's just explaining um, restoring HP. Um, we don't have a skill yet for Leanne, but she's going to be the primary healer um, for now, anyway. Well, I mean, not in this battle. But let's attack for 12 damage. Okay, I guess that's not in this tutorial battle. Um, what I wanted to explain. So let's just attack regularly. Um, the MP also, which we're not really going to be using in this battle. Oh, sweet. There we go. Finally. Um, the MP restores, uh, like, per turn. So I'm at 30 now for Xi'an. It'll probably get to the 40 um, with this turn right here. And we have 10 turns, but it really didn't make a difference. Um, so let's just get the final kill with Jan. And there we go. So not too difficult of a battle. Actually, not that difficult at all. Now, there are some hidden items on the playing field. But for the most part, it's just, you know, cheap items like healing herbs um, which you can buy, and a solar file, which I'll explain in the next battle, which will probably be in the next episode. Um, but, yeah, so you get experience for just finishing the battle. Um, so, that's why I wasn't too concerned about Jan's level. Um, another thing is that skills that we will get, um, you, um, you need to be a certain level. For most of them. I don't know. I think I might have taken a fencing class. Oh, no I haven't. Okay. Okay. It came from your soul. Hmm. Oh. Hey. It's Roger. Whoa. Demons? Where are the angels, then? Well, at least you were better off than that guy. I guess so. Did one of them look like Porky? Well, just straight up pork. Yeah, man. I don't know why you had so much difficulty. Oh no! Ever no, not the village. Maybe somebody's just like you know doing stuff. So yeah, let's go to the village. So that's gonna do it for today's episode, though. A bit of a cliffhanger. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.